Hi, I'm in my Airb- Oh god, it is so blue in here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I've done a chatty video. And if you can tell by the title, this one is about tour. And don't, I'm gonna be eating while I'm doing this because I just got back to my Airbnb in Brooklyn um, from doing some, some work thingies. My window is, is wide open in front of me and the entirety of New York is listening to me as I film this video. Also, I'm like really sweaty and it's kind of uncomfortable. Um, yeah, I'm excited to do a little, little little chatty video. Let me take my glasses off so you don't have the reflection of, of the lamp in front of my face. Let's talk about tour. Let's talk about let's talk about what that what that means. What the um, uh how I'm feeling about it, which is very good. So if you didn't know, I'm going on tour. I'm going on a bigger, much bigger tour than the one that I did in March. This tour is. Let me get my phone. Okay, so the cities I'm going to on the mass grade tour are Portland, Vancouver. One second. Portland, Vancouver, Seattle, Los Angeles, Phoenix, San Diego, Santa Ana, Salt Lake City, Denver, St. Paul, Chicago, Detroit, San Francisco, Toronto, Boston, Philadelphia, Atlanta, and New York City, baby. Um, so it's a huge step up. I My last tour and my very first tour I ever did was the Plum Blossom tour. It was five cities. It was like baby's first tour because I... I'm, I'm new to touring. I didn't quite, I don't, I didn't know how I would handle it. And I ended up doing pretty well. I mean, this is semi-personal, but like if you, if you have followed me on this channel or if you've um, listened to my music, you, you know that I, I have anxiety. Um, and tour was like a big step up for me the first time I did it because it wasn't, my team and I weren't entirely sure how I was going to handle it. I get really nervous with traveling and um, trying to establish a routine when you're doing that sort of thing is really hard and something that I kind of rely on as an anxious person. So it was like a scary leap of faith into an experience that I wasn't, I didn't have any sort of understanding of. So this upcoming tour is like a huge deal because I didn't know that I was gonna be able to do something like this or that you guys would, would be so receptive to coming out and seeing me in person, which is crazy. Like like making music is one thing and having people listen to it online is, is, is wonderful, but Seeing you all show up in person and, and sing with me is like the greatest thing ever. This is an accidental mukbang. Mukbang. I don't know. I was wondering what I was gonna make this video about. The video that I made about the Plum Blossom tour was about how I'd been to each of these cities. It's different this time though because it's like I haven't been to a majority of these cities. As an individual, I'm not particularly well traveled. I, I'm, I would say I've traveled more because of being a musician, but I'm I'm not someone who like has been like to a lot of states and a lot of like cities within the United States. I've traveled internationally, but I've only been to two places. And like very fortunate to have had the experiences that I've had so far, but this tour is crazy to me because it's gonna take two months to get through all the dates and it's with a bunch of cities that I just have never been to. And I don't know what people that live there are like or how I will how I will interact with the city or anything. So it's a lot of like new and fresh stuff which is terrifying but also so so exciting and like I think the funnest part for me on my last tour was getting to know how the different different crowds were in different cities. It was fun for me to get familiar with the types of crowds that I was playing to, and I don't know, I'm excited to do that again with the Masquerade tour. I don't know, I just wanted to make a video announcing it, obviously, but also just to say like how excited I am to see you guys in person, to see you all in the flesh is gonna be really, really exciting. I'm say I say the word exciting so much because I like, I just have three brain cells and I can't figure it out. Truly am very stoked to be able to have this opportunity to go on a longer run in this fall and to see how I handle that experience, but also to be so thankful that you all are are gonna be there at these shows to support me and I can give you like hugs and, and just like, you know. It's interesting to be in a position where I feel like I'm going on a tour, but I'm not super concerned about um, being lonely or whatever because I know that you all will be there and like, I, I think what I love about this community of people that listen to my music and the fact that I can make music for you all is that it feels very much like family and friends and like, you know, we're all experiencing the same things and I think that these shows are gonna be so special because it's gonna be about how we're all going through the same thing and we're all gonna be like screaming along to the same lyrics and like 
listening to the same things and just having a moment where we can all connect with each other regardless of whether or not you know someone's name or whatnot. Yeah, I think that's the greatest thing that I found out of my experience with live shows is the fact that for one night, the audience and I can create a really special experience where everyone can kind of let it out. I don't know how else to put that. I don't know, I would I would hope that my live shows can be kind of like a, a form of therapy, if you will. And it is for me too, to be able to perform on stage all of these songs that I've written in private and like am now sharing to the world. It's really exciting. So yeah, I don't know. I'm very pumped for the fall. And if you're getting a ticket and you're coming, thank you so much. And if we you haven't or you aren't able to or whatever, um, just know I see you, whatever form of support you are you are showing, I acknowledge it and appreciate it endlessly because opportunities like this would not be possible if it wasn't for you all. So thank you. Um, I'm gonna finish my noodles and soy milk and I will, we'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.